Hey guys, welcome to the first game of the round of 16 of BSL Season 16 Hostel League. We've got Stunter starting the upper left hand corner as the Gray Terran upper right hand corner. We have 260 for you as kind of the also grayish green uh, Protoss. I cannot color swap. It would be yellow versus yellow. This is going to be on Nemesis. I'm expecting a pretty good one. Other Attentats also in this group and I'm I tried to make a mental note to remember who the other player was on the other side, but it's a it's a good group. It's a solid group altogether. I think Advil might also be in this group. I'll have to double check. Point being, it's a strong group. Going to be tough matches all the way around. Nemesis, completely flat ground all the way around, which might make early Dragoon pushes a little bit stronger, especially because what is typically a ramp in between here isn't exact isn't it's not an inverted ramp or anything it's all flat so even though this looks even though this is a barrier you don't get the high ground mole trap has informed me in the background in between casts that the uh, high ground is a 50 percent mischance for some reason i thought it was two-thirds i know that there is a mischance sometimes it feels like it's two-thirds where people keep missing 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 and there's also like a one in 99 percent chance that a shot will just miss that's part of starcraft just to make it more frustrating, I, I suppose. Or to, uh, I don't know, add a little bit of spice. It's still the best game in the world, so I'm not gonna question the original developers, whatever. It's actually interesting listening. I have had a chance to have like almost a proxy conversation with someone regarding who is a, an original developer and hearing some of the decision-making, like there, a lot of people, at least his account was, is that there were a lot of intentional messing with AI to make it a little bit more buggy, so that to basically pseudo nerf certain units and, and things along those lines, which uh, I don't know whether I want to take that account seriously or not. But regardless, they made an absolutely brilliant game. Stunt. Why am I? You guys are watching the game already. I don't need to hype it up, right? It's 20 years old. It's not going anyplace. Uh, I do feel bad after recent news from GSL and some questioning with StarCraft 2. So also hearts out to them while I'm mentioning it. We are seeing a two gate opener. It looks like from Sexy. SCV is going to scout it immediately, which should prompt. It looks like we still have three SCV in gas. I was thinking this would end up prompting a. Let's see if the SCV remain. But a. I, I'm almost wondering if a factory machine shop siege tech opener would be better suited, or maybe just opening up two factory would be a little bit safer given the architecture of this map. Stunter keeping that SCV. Looks like Sexy went for a cross spawn scout. See if he follows it up by going top left. It looks like he is gonna be able to follow it up. The Marines in position to go ahead and blockade the additional information. It looks like the initial three are being constructed. Be curious to see if we see a vulture follow up. I would expect not, again, because it is double Dragoon that's being fielded, but if Stunter's just playing out the build order and goes Vulture here, might be in for a rude surprise. We'll have to see. Dragoon doing initial damage to that SCV in base. We do have range. It looks like we are seeing that machine shop drop with the command center behind it on the ground. So it's going to be potentially... Oops, sorry. Bumped my mic. Trying to move some things here in the background. I was trying to do it ninja-wise, but I'm actually in a new casting location. People on stream will let me know if my mic cut out in between all that. Ugh, rough day for casting. So Dragoon's out. We got four that are going to be pressing the field. That's enough to pick off that in initial siege tank. I'm expecting a bunker. And the time of this bunker is going to be really, really close to when these Dragoons are actually out in the front. They might be able to get some pot shots out. No siege tech uh, as of yet. The minerals weren't there for it, I don't believe. Barracks being lifted. The Dragoons pressing towards the front and there's going to be a period a solid period of time and SCVs aren't here where the Dragoons have range the siege tank isn't in position the SCVs are nowhere near to help support this bunker so that bunker under a lot of fire very rapidly I'm expecting it to fall here cancellation of that command center upon recognition of it and Stunter is going to end up losing this first siege tank the Marines dying it's oh man that might be game right here that's unfortunate so, I guess I'm, I'm half happy that I was able to comment on how strong Dragoon Push might be here. 
but also sad to see a uh, stunter falter this early the dragoons making the way around sides up the SCD is actually able to get decent damage on top of them but more dragoons oh they need to get in the attack though currently just waiting outside that natural looks like now they've been recognized still no additional marines and yeah as sexy is actually a little bit low on probes it looks like in the middle of all this micro he's dropping a little bit of his own macro but second siege tank down more SC and this is like mining that's not happening for stunter he's got yeah there's gg well played for too sexy i think that was just an intelligent build order on this map altogether he is going to move to the winners match we will see stunter once again in the losers match hope you guys enjoyed it again give a like and subscribe to support this or share it with a friend support brood war if you enjoy it i guess is what i'm saying here or me or whatever appreciate all y'all for watching and listening thank you for listening have a great day